In this segment, we're going to take an example of Simpson's one-third rule of integration. And so we're going to use the formula to see that, how we can apply that to find an approximate value of an integral. So let's suppose the example tells you use uh, Simpson's one by third rule uh, to find this integral. 0 0.1 to 1.35x e to the power minus 2x dx. So that's what you're asked to do. You're asked to find out the, what is the approximate value of this integral by using uh, the Simpson's one-third rule. Now we just derived the Simpson's one-third rule as follows, that this is the approximate value of the integral given by Simpson's one-third rule. You have h divided by 3 here, and then it is the, multiplied with the value of the function at a plus 4 times the value of the function at a plus b divided by 2 plus the value of the function at b. That's what we get as the approximate value of the integral by using Simpson's one-third rule. Again, I'm going to mention that the reason why it's called Simpson's one-third rule because we have the 3 in the denominator there. And the value of h is simply the half of the interval width. So h is b minus a divided by 2. So all we have to do is to substitute the values of a and b, find h, find the values of the function at a, the midpoint, and the value at b, and we are done. So let's go and write this down. So we have the function itself, uh, which we are trying to integrate, or the integrand itself is 5 times x e to the power minus 2x. a is given as 0 0.1. B is given as 1.3. Your H will be B minus A divided by 2. So this turns out to be 0 0.6. So the value of the integral 0 0.1 from 1.3 of this 5x e to the power minus uh, 2x uh, dx is approximately equal to h, which is 0 0.6 divided by 3, h divided by 3, times the value of the function at a. So the value of the function at a is, uh, the value of a is 0 0.1, plus 4 times the value of the function at the midpoint, which is at 0 0.1 plus 1.3 divided by 2, plus the value of the function at 1.3. So here I get it is 0 0.2 times the value of the function at 0 0.1 plus 4 times the value of the function at 0 0.7 plus the value of the function at 1.3. So the way you've got to look at it is that you have to calculate the value of the function at the lower limit of integration plus 4 times the value of the function at the midpoint uh, between the upper and lower limit of integration plus the value of the function at the upper limit of integration. So that's what is the approximate value of the integral of this uh, by using Simpson's one-third rule. All I have to do now is to substitute the value of the function now at those particular points. I get 0 0.2 uh, times the value of the function at 0 0.1 be 5 times 0 0.1 e to the power minus 2 times 0 0.1. So that's the value of the function at point 0.1 plus 4 times the value of the function at uh, 0 0.1 7 uh, plus 1 time the value of the function at uh, 1.3. That's what we get here. So if I do some more uh, simplification, I get uh, this number, term, the value of the function is 0 0.1 turns out to be 0.4094. The value of the function at uh, 0.7 turns out to be 0 0.8631. And the value of the function at 1.3 turns out to be 0 0.4828. So once we have uh, found out the values of the function at these uh, three points, which we have to do, uh, the value turns out to be 0 0.8689. So that's the approximate value of the integral uh, which we are trying to find by using Simpson's one-third rule. Now, uh, what is the exact value? The exact value of the same integral, uh, 0 0.1 to 1.3 of 5x e to the power minus 2x dx, 
is equal to 0 0.8939. That's the exact value up to four significant digits for this particular value of the integral. And I'm going to ask you to uh, do this as homework. And the hint for finding uh, the exact integral, such as this one, is to do it by parts. So you can see that this is the approximate value which you're getting by using Simpson's one-third rule. And uh, this is the exact value which you're getting by using your integral calculus knowledge. So let's go and look at what the absolute relative approximate error is. So if I was going to look at the absolute relative approximate error for this particular case, it is the, I'm going to write down the definition of the absolute relative approximate error. It's true value minus approximate value uh, divided by true value uh, times 100. That's what we have. Now, we already know what the true value is. That's part of your homework, 0 0.8939. And the approximate value which we obtained by using Simpson's one-third rule is as follows. And divided by the exact value, which is 0 0.8939, multiplied by 100. I'm just trying to get the value of the absolute relative approximate in terms of a percentage. And this turns out to be 2 point, approximately 2.8%. That's what I get as the relative true error for this example. And that's the end of this segment.